good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, I slept in my makeup. You know, I really did. I was like, last night I was like, I'm going to take off my makeup. And then, you know, if it ain't broke. Um, I leave for Decatur, Georgia tomorrow for the, wait, it's tomorrow Friday? Yeah. Um, for the Decatur Book Festival Saturday where I'm going to be signing and reading um, and I'm excited to see so many of you. I I hope a bunch of you are able to come out. I've never been to this book festival before, so I'm excited. Uh, went to Leanne's birthday thing. I mean, it's not her real... We, she and I both turned 40 together the same weekend in October, but she did like a roller skating disco party last night. If you saw the picture, she is really... I just... For those of you who read The Southern Education of a Jersey Girl, Leanne was my first friend here in Birmingham, and I just can't get enough of that girl. She is like joy. I just love her. Um, and then I went to dinner with Michael and Adrian um, and Hud and Danielle. Um, also, I, we were talking about going to Vegas for my 40th. We leave in three weeks, so we're so excited. We're gonna see Lionel Richie. So excited. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. So, um, I have a friend who is, did you ever just meet someone and think, you are my people. I just love you. I, I just love you. Come into my space and let me love you. Be my friend forever. And let's do weird things together forever. And let's be weird together. Um, I found out yesterday that my friend is suffering. Um, and I feel like I am a person who is very in tune with what other people are going through. That's disgusting. Can you not do that? Sorry. Ace is like going to town here. I know dogs have to clean themselves, but it grosses me out. Um, and I don't know how I missed it. Um, when you spend quality time with somebody and you miss the signs that they may be struggling with depression or anxiety, um, it makes you feel, I, I, well, me, like what was I doing? Was I talking about myself too much? Was I too on during our time together? Like, what was I doing that I missed the signs? Were there signs? Did he or she go to extreme lengths to make sure that there weren't signs? And I think about how beautiful life is, how excruciatingly painful it is, how exhausting it is, how sweet it is, and how I have come to the full understanding that it is all of these emotions that make life what it is. To live a life of just happiness would eventually become too, you know, in and of itself, I think, sad. Because being able to experience the different emotions in life is truly to like have lived. I'm not trying to be poetic. I'm, I'm being like legit. Like I love a good cry. I mean, you guys know I will Michael Bolton the hell out of a Sunday if I need to cry. Right? I mean, the other day I went, I went there folks. I'm talking... Bette Midler, wind beneath my wings, cry. <laughs> That's like a level above Michael Bolton. That's serious crying. Um, I've been in. I've been full of rage, slammed doors, punched walls. I've laughed. I've thrown my head back in laughter and laughed so hard that no noise came out. I've and so. I so badly wanted to convey how important it is to really experience these emotions. But when someone is 
struggling, they can't see it. And that is the hardest thing for my brain to understand that real depression, they can't, they know it in their part of their mind's eye. They know what you're saying is the truth, but they can't move the block, the sadness block that is covering the manhole, right? So like if you envision your eyes that can see the beauty in the world, put a manhole cover of sadness over their eyes. So every time they look up, all they see is sadness. It's like, how do, how do we move the manhole cover, at least partially, so that they can see the beauty that is in the world? And the most amazing thing is how much beauty we see in them and what gifts they are. And it's like, life is hard for all of us, right? We all have periods of time where it's a lot, like, whew. I can't adult today. Living is hard today, right? But I'm trying so hard to get my mind to a place where I can truly understand somebody who sees that more often than not. And so often with any silent disease, we, we just want to snap them out of it. But I understand, certainly over the course of doing Coffee Talk, that it's not that simple. And I think the reason that I'm talking to you about this now is because I, again, feel like I am someone who is very in tune with the people that I love, but I missed all the signs. And I want to be a better friend. How? For those of you that have, have or do, suffer from depression, anxiety, things like that. Because I have anxiety at times, but it, I don't, it's not a consistent thing in my life. What can we do as friends? How can we be better? Um, what, how can we be of true service to you? Because I believe my calling in this life is to step up for people who need need it. The people that come into my life, I want to be the person who makes the grand gestures. I want people to know they are loved. I want to be the one who says, if you need me, I will get on a plane and I will be there and mean it and get on the plane. But I want, maybe it's something in me. Maybe part of me needs that, you know, needs to know that I mattered. Maybe that's what I need for myself and that's the kind of friend I want to be. So I guess this is my asking. I miss the signs, um, but now I know them and I won't miss them again, at, I hope. Um, how can I be better? How can we be better for the people around us who are hurting, who are suffering silently? What can we do for people who are suffering from depression? How can we be there for them? What do you need? Is there anything that we can do, small or big? Um, let's please use this coffee talk to start a dialogue, to literally love people back to life. How can we move the manhole cover of sadness at least enough that you can see that the sun will shine again? Please help me help us, help all of us, because I really want to. Um, okay, I love you so much today. Happy September 1st. It is September. Let's make it one to remember.